Hey everyone, this is Scarlet. As you can tell, this is a different Let's Play from Dragon Age Origins, which I should be doing. I'm having a lot of difficulty recording it though because of all of the lag. I'm still trying to figure it out. So I figured I'd do something a bit different in the meantime before I can get that up and running. This is Final Fantasy IX. This is not a normal Final Fantasy IX because I'm doing the voiceover after recording the footage. The reason I'm doing this is this particular run requires a lot of concentration. Now, as you can see, it didn't start off with the game's opening FMV. Why is that? Because this, dear watchers, is an Excalibur 2 perfect game run. The only way to get a quote-unquote perfect file in Final Fantasy IX that includes Steiner's ultimate weapon. Now, we start off with this first boss fight. And as you can see from earlier while I was talking, you have to do a lot of configuring, you have to make sure the battle speed is fast, the ATB bar is set to wait, all of that jazz. Now in this fight is normally done, where everybody steals the first round, the second round Sinnoh kills himself, everybody else steals, you don't the Mage Masher, restart. Now, in, on an emulator, you have things called save states. I didn't end up having to use it here because it went so well. But you could save state at the beginning of the battle and then make sure the battle was perfectly every single time. Now, in this case, I had Cinna kill himself first before stealing. Everybody else stole and killed themselves. This is a little faster than uh, the way that it's recommended to do it. And I can do this because it's on an emulator and it's easy. Now, I got the Mage Masher automatically, as you saw, so everything went fine. And other things that you need to do in this run is go through the uh, talking as quickly as possible. Now, you do this by uh, alternating X and square instead of just mashing X to go through the dialogue. You go through it even faster. Uh, X makes the words appear faster. Square makes the words appear faster, and X makes the uh, dialogue go by. Now, right now, we're just running through this part, and a lot of times when I go through this, I accidentally hit uh, the Queen Brawn answer, which loses you a couple seconds. Now, right here, this is me skipping the FMV. Fraps doesn't show it, but what I did was, is I exited out of... Uh, of my emulator. I'm not using EPSXE for this one because I'm having some issues with it. But what I did was I exited out, uh, loaded up another ISO, for the ISO for disk 2 specifically, then the second the uh, emulator loaded, I exited out again and loaded up disk 1 of Final Fantasy 9. Now if you wait on this, the emulator will crash, unlike on the PlayStation where you do have a little bit of leeway there. So you have about a half a second between loading it up the second time with another file and exiting out before the emulator will crash. If you do it correctly, you get this and it skips. Sorry. <laughs> so, this section of the game is pretty straightforward. There's not uh, too much you have to do. You just need to remember where all of the items are. For instance, those three items right there. Now there are items in Alexandria you do not have to get at this point. You don't have to get the items in front of the pub or inside of the pub. You'll get those later on in disc 3 when you return to Alexandria. You need to get as many items as possible in order to get the S rank thief during disc 4. And during this run, all you have to pick up is what would be missable, what you cannot get, and what is missing during disc 4. Because obviously once you're on disc 4, you can't get it. And the reason that you don't have to get the items out of the pub until disc 3 is that you're automatically in the pub during disc, the beginning of disc 3. So there's not too much point in getting it until then. As you saw, I had a bit of trouble finding the item right there. And you also need to know this game well. Never, ever attempt a perfect game run your first time playing this game. You need to know what you're go going. You need to know what you're doing. And you need to know the ins and outs of this game to be able to pull off a perfect game run. 
Now, I actually went too fast here. I'm usually able to get her running out of the doorway before I reach the doorway. For some reason, she ran out when I'd already passed the doorway, so I just backed up and got the items that were in this building. You can also get the items in this building, again, during disc three, when, uh, if you try to enter the house when the girl's still in there, you can't get up to the second floor, and there's me, the first of many screw-ups you'll see. So you can either get it now or you can get it then. It's just easier for me to get it now. And this is a little side quest that most people miss when playing Final Fantasy IX. It's, uh, talk to the little boy, go find boy's cat, card, profit. <laughs> Uh, some of the pros about playing it on an emulator versus on a PlayStation 2 or PSX is, uh, of course, you can use save states. Uh, that makes your life a hell of a lot easier. A hell of a lot easier, especially during things like the uh, Blank Sedan uh, duel later on, or early on in the game. And let's see, what other ones? Well, some cons obviously are it's harder to skip FMVs. Um, you have a harder time moving around unless you have a USB controller hooked up to your emulator. If you're using a uh, keyboard, be very, very good with the keyboard. Because <laughs> if not, you're going to have a hell of a time. Um, I've also noticed that on the emulator, things are faster. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just my perception of things. But it does seem that you're able to get through the menus faster, uh, get through dialogue faster, and I know from experience, it is a lot easier to do the Zidane Blank uh, thing, fight, sword fight thing, uh, in one try on an emulator over the PlayStation. Because you can A, save state right before the duel, so you can just, every time you screw up, just go back, go back, go back. Saves you time because you can make it so you only have one on re one duel on record. And each part of the duel takes one minute. Um, and also it just seems easier to do it on a keyboard versus a controller. That specific part. <laughs> um, going through menus can be a bit more difficult. Well, menus as in the uh, in-game menu, equipping, whatever. Because for some reason, it might just be my computer, the menu lags when I run EPSXE, no matter what I do. But... Okay. Right now, we're going to meet a Moogle. And... There's not really much to say during this part. It's a very straightforward part of the game. about nearing the end of this run, I'm going to be recording this run by section by section, instead of 15 minute videos, like I do with my other Let's Plays. This just makes it easier, and if somebody needs help with a specific section of the game, they can just go right to that part. And the uh, target time for this is 8 minutes, 37 seconds, and 627 gil. Let's see what we got. Didn't make the guild, but we beat the time. All right, I'll see you at the next one. This is uh, Scarlet Tanager with Let's Play Final Fantasy IX Excalibur II Perfect Game Run. See you next time.